I-continue natin itong post ni Ma'am Jensen Go. Marami ito. Kaya isa-isahin lang natin kada video para mas madaling i-search ba? Para mas madaling hanapin. Basahin muna natin ang problem. The sum of the three numbers is 94. The first number is 3 fifth of the second and the second is 4 third of the third. What are the three numbers? Solution number one. Tingnan mo yung mga choices. Itong si 46, 46, 3 fifth of 46 is 27.6 and not 12. Cancel out natin yan. Itong 43. 3 fifth of 43 is 25.8 and not 19. So cancel out this one. Next. 39. 3 fifth of 39 is 23.4 and not 20. So cancel out this one. Next. Ito. Number 4. Obviously. Okay, 3 fifth of 40 is 24. So, yan na yung sagot. Paano ba mag-multiply natin dito? Meron na tayong separate video on how to multiply mga fraction na may whole numbers, yung mga ganyan. Pwede mo mang ganit, ganitohin 40 divided by 5 and that is 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. Or, ganito ang gagawin mo. Uh, 3 times that is 120 120 divided by 5 and that is 24 so uh, 3 fifth of 40 is 24 yan na yung sagot kasi dito naman 3 fifth of 37 itong choice choice number 5 is equals to 22.2 and not 28 so eliminate mo na yan at isa pa sa choices naman ay isa lang yung Number na nasa gitna, na ma-divide natin ng 5. Tapos, pag multiply na ng 3, whole number pa rin. Kaya, ito na yung sagot. Pero, meron tayong another way of solving this. Just in case, hindi mo gusto itong ganitong klasing pag-solve or pag-kuha ng sagot. Meron tayong another way. The sum of three numbers is 94. When we say sum, mag-add tayo. So, i-add natin. A plus B plus C is equals to 94. So, these are the numbers, yung A, B, C, equals 94. Now, the first number, itong A daw, is 3 fifth of the second. So, that is A is equals to 3 fifth of B. First number is 3 fifth of the second. So, A is equals to 3 fifth of B. And the second is 4 third of the third. So, B is equals to 4 third of C. Meron na tayong value ni A para kasi maging like terms. So, yan yung isulat natin. Itong, ang value ni A ay 3 fifth of B. Plus, ikip natin si B. Now, itong si C. Ito ang paglaruin natin. Bali, i-isolate natin si C para makuha natin yung value ni C. Since si itong si 4 over 3, ay pang multiply sa C, pang divide ngayon siya sa B, 4 over 3 equals C. Ang B kopyahin, ang division maging multiplication, ito ay maging 3 over 4 equals C. Actually, kapag makita mo na ito, direkta ka ng ganito ang gagawin mo. Ginawa ko lang ito para maintindihan nyo na ang 4 over 3, since pang multiply siya sa C, pag uh, i-transfer mo sa kabila, maging pang divide sa B. So, B divided by 4 over 3. Tapos, paano mag-divide ng may fraction? Si B kopyahin, ang division maging multiplication, 
at reciprocal ni, div ni divisor na 4 over 3 ay 3 over 4. Ngayon, C is equals to B times 3 fourth. So, 3 fourth of B equals 94. Yan na yung equation natin. Ang next natin gawin ay i-multiply natin ang buong equation ng 20. Sana ko galing ng 20. Itong 5 times 4 equals 20. Yan yung pang-multiply ko para mawalan ako ng mga denominators. 20 times 3 fifth or 3 fifth of 20 is 12. So this is, or pwede naman 20 divided by 5 and that is 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. So this is 12B. Now, 20 times B, that is 20B. 3 fourth of 20, and that is 15B, equals 94 times 20. 94 times 2 muna, that is 188, tapos lagay mo yung 0. Yan yun. Otherwise, 94 times 20 is equals 1,880. I-add na natin itong mga like terms na to, 12B plus 20B plus 15B, and this is 47B. Kopyahin si 1880. Since si B pang multiply sa uh, 47, pang divide ngayon siya dito sa 1880. So, cancel out na si 47 dyan. So, B is equals to 1880. Divided by 47, and that is 40. So, therefore, ang second number ay 40. Sa choices, isa lang naman ang 40 ang gitna. So, yan na yung sagot. Pero kung gusto mong ipagpatuloy, isubstitute mo itong 40 dito, ay itong B dito, na that is 40. So, 3 fifths of 40, and that is 24. So, si A ay 24. Ito namang si C. Itong C, okay? Ang B natin ay 40. So, 3 fourth ni 40. Ito pwede mo mo i-cancel out yan. Magiging 10 yan. So, 10 times 3 is equals to 30. So, ang C ay 30. So, ang sagot dito ay 24, 40, 30 and that is equals to 94.